on our tour in 2020 when we lost our final week because of the lockdown. And, um, the beginning. The beginning of lockdown, oh. which we thought was obviously only going to be a few Before weeks. I'll be over in three weeks. Before I'll come back. Three months. No, no, four months. All right, five months. It's been a long time. So, maybe six months. We'll just push it out a bit. Longer. And then sadly, uh, our 2021 tour uh, got postponed. So it's now 2022. It is. And we are 2022 back. sounds like it's just gone... Quarter past eight. I know, it's 2022. And we are uh, finally back on tour and it feels, well, it feels great. The m thing I'm most happy about is I got one of the suits out the other day and popped it on and it still fitted. Wow, that's good. Perfectly. Mine still fits. I was, I was so pleased. That was going to be the biggest worry for me. <laughs> if you honestly had said to me 25 years ago that we would still be dancing together, that we'd still be dancing at all. Uh, 25 years ago, I would have probably said, probably not. It's, it, it's really lovely, and 25 years is a long time, but it has flown by. But with that comes familiarity, which is good, you know, I mean, that's the great thing about that. You, you build up, like all these things, some things you just can't rush, they just, they just take time. And um, as, as we said, we've been doing it for 25 years, so within that, there's that, just that time and experience and familiarity and ease that you get with time. Whenever you see a performance of any sort, you want to feel relaxed while you're watching it. It's always the way, really, whether it's a couple dancing on Strictly, whether it's a great show with a new cast, whatever it is, you just want to be able to sit there and go, oh, this is going to be great. And often that just comes with time. So when, when we walk out onto stage, we feel like the audience go, oh, great. There, there's so many elements to Showtime. Uh, as Anton said, we have a 23-piece orchestra and Richard Balkan, we have Lance Ellington, we have six fabulous dancers and Elizabeth. ourselves. Elizabeth, yes. And um, it's and these fantastic costumes oh. that we have to have a truck to truck go with load us. Of a truck load of costumes. And these real iconic songs. So we have... Uh, the music is incredible this year. Incredible. Isn't it? It is, so this year. We, Shirley Bassey, Elton John, Beyonce. They're not making an appearance, they're just the songs. <laughs> and I, I did have some sort of dance envy when I was judging on the show this year, watching some of those numbers. But one or two of those numbers I, I was sort of glad to be not part of. But um, I thought, oh, hello. I remember that feeling. Um, but some of the numbers there just... Brilliant, and you you know you sit there, and you go, oh, I wish that was me doing that because that is brilliant. And I thought Anton was an incredible judge, on, and and I think it made the judging panel really balanced. And also, uh, what I found uh, watching is that uh, Anton gave great constructive criticism. Thank you. Be well, because you'd been there and you'd done it, and wow. not only you knew what the celebrities were going through, but you also knew, most importantly, what the professionals had gone through that week by just watching them. You know the struggle that they're having. 